Hi everyone, it's Kasia from Tarot Map, and today I want to share some goodies with you. Um, I'm lucky. What can I say? I'm lucky and I'm really excited about stuff. <laughs> so if you don't like stuff or if you think this is too materialistic or whatever, switch off. But I want to share with you a deck that I received from Arwen Lynch. I had an interview with her and I mentioned how much I would love to play with a fairy tale tarot by Lisa Hunt and Owen was amazingly good and her generous gesture was to send me an extra copy that she had of fairy tale tarot by Lisa Hunt and I have just received the cards today and let me just say something about Arwen because um, I don't know if you know her cha uh, channel, probably you do because she's uh, well known uh, in our YouTube community. But if you do not know, I will post a link to her channel below. And let me tell you something about her, my personal opinion, obviously. I think Arwen is an amazing woman and not only because she gifted me the fairy day tarot um, that counts but hello no I would have said exactly the same thing about her even if she didn't give me the deck uh, I think that she's an inspiration for me first of all she's been in tarot business so she's been a professional reader for many many years she's openly sharing her experiences about tarot reading she is encouraging a lot of us, younger people, new people um, who just start with their channels and um, you know she kind of treats um, all the newcomers in such a beautiful encouraging way and it's very inspirational at the same time she's really funny you know uh, sick joy y'all <laughs> I can never say that with this accent but she is a woman that makes sure that she shares joyous things with the community and um, discovers new people, uh, discovers new things, um, share her shares her love for tarot and for uh, being a tarot reader and also being a part of community. And as she said herself, you know, joy is not something that she feels all the time, but she chooses to find joy every day and for this matter I really am inspired by you Arwen I'm not sure if you will ever watch it but if you will um, thank you so much for being such a beautiful strong um, sacred feminine presence in our YouTube community and uh, thank you so much for sending this deck to me you made my day <laughs> um, I don't know if this is not everyone's cup of tea. Lisa's hand um, decks are quite busy, even for my liking, you know. So these are the bags. What's nice about this particular deck is that there is no frames. So um, I'm excited to see that um, I don't have to trim anything and the pictures are a little bit bigger. So Lisa's hand art is amazing but multi-layered and quite busy. There's a lot of swirls, a lot of um, things to look out for in a card. So if you put a lot of cards next to one another it can be a little bit too busy for many people. That's why I love to use her decks um, for specific readings. I've got Probably I've got her ghosts and spirits and the sacred uh, the uh, the creatures. What are they? Um, the other deck. I will <laughs> write it down in the comment. And I love her decks, but as I said, I cannot use it in many card spread. Uh, but this deck has this amazing book, and she so Lisa picked seventy eight tales, fairy tales, and attached each tale to each of the tarot cards and this is quite fascinating to me because I also have the inner child cards by um, Isha Lerner that are also beautiful in this manner and this deck and I'm going to play a little bit with my inner child and I think this deck just came to me 
at the right time because um, I just want to explore a little bit of how the fairy tales can be used in tarot work to um, help us understand certain archetypes and certain issues, certain qualities because through fairy tales we can do it in a very gentle way and often when you use tarot as a metaphor and say to a client even an example of a fairy tale they take what's important for themselves and you don't have to you know like give advice or anything for that matter sometimes a simple metaphor or an image can do wonders to people so this deck is quite amazing for that reason that it uses fairy tales and it has this gorgeousness of an artwork and I'm really excited about it and I will work with it for a while and I'm definitely going to do a full flip through and maybe a review of this deck unfortunately it is an out of print deck so it's quite hard to find and um, there are copies available though if you want to really get this deck there are copies available I think in Spanish and in German and you can always get the application uh, from Fool's Dog uh, and they have the whole book in English within the app so um, you can you know you know the cards you can always figure out what card that is and then you have the whole book on the app in electronic form so this is another way you can kind of play with this deck so okay this is the fairy tale tarot which I'm so excited about and then I also got um, in Poland from like a second-hand shop um, the Los Carabio Arturia Minchiate deck and it's also quite amazing so here um, there's 97 cards in Minkiata deck. I don't know too much about these decks yet. I just want to share. So uh, the miners are kind of like pips and the court cards are for people in like in normal tarot. So this is just like regular, regular tarot with the pip decks and four people in the courts. And then there is, I'm not sure if I picked the right, um, cards but because I don't have a book to it so bear with me I can change my mind reserved <laughs> but I picked uh, 12 signs of the zodiac which I thought are uh, so this would be my Aries then there's Taurus Gemini Cancer Leo I didn't know which one would be Virgo I have a few cards left. I thought of picking this one as a Virgo just because that reminded me of a feather and a little bit of Mercury, but maybe also she could be a Virgo. Earthy, feet on the ground, I'm not sure. Um, then I have Libra, and then I have Scorpio, Sagittarius. Capricorn, Pisces, and Aquarius. I picked this thing. And then I picked my um, majors because it's all kind of, it has many more cards than 22. Um, and as you see, even on the Zodiac cards, you still have numbers. So it goes, I think, to 35 or something like that. So this is a full, unnumbered. It's very strange oh it's raining this would be a magician I picked this one as a uh, high priestess with the mirror and with the snake that might be something different but to me this is a great depiction of a high priestess and she's quite powerful and you know not this oh so pretty and meek that would be my empress that would be my emperor that would be the high priest 
this would be lovers that would be a chariot so don't look at the numbers for that that would be um, justice a, a hierophant at four no what's his hermit <laughs> wheel of fortune strength hangman death awesome death that would be my temperance devil tower I picked this one as a star just because it's got a star this one is a moon because it's got a moon and this one is a sun because it's got a sun this would be my judgment and this would be my world and then I have a few cards left <laughs> so I thought these ones would be elements so this is fire earth air and water and I'm not sure what about this I know that they have like these qualities and um, you know like temperance and um, justice and stuff I don't I forgot the word in English but I have this three left I don't have a book so I will have to go online and investigate and I will for sure I think this deck is very beautiful how it looks it has this cool bags it says Arturia there's a Il Menegelo edition as well but I actually don't mind this Los Carabillo it's quite um, nice nice feel in the hands it's quite thin but it's good because it's 97 cards so you can easily you know like shuffle it and it's gorgeous colors the court cards are lovely the artwork is really beautiful in this Arturia deck so I'm going to be playing with Ming Piate and I want to find out a little bit more about it and when I do I will share with you for sure um, so that's these two decks that I wanted to share and I'm especially excited about the fairy tale tarot so thank you Arwen again and see you guys if you don't know Arwen just head over and check her channel because she's got a lot of goodies on her channel and a lot of interviews with other interesting uh, youtubers witches tarot people so it's very interesting to check her out uh, thank you for watching and I speak to you soon bye